episode of Success with Bob Mwiti Show, I'm going to talk about the two most common IT consulting models here in the US. Okay, now if you are out there and you probably want to get into the tech industry as a consultant, especially here in the US, then this is something that you may need to know. Okay, now the first model is where a company decides to implement an IT project and then they reach out to an implementing partner to come and implement the project for them. Okay, all right. And then now what really happens is when that implementing partner comes on board, then they may need resources and then they bring you on board as a consultant. Okay, now let's say for example, I give you an example. Let's say Bank of America, they want to implement an ERP system called SAP or Oracle. Okay, so they may decide, hey, you know what? We want to implement this uh, system, but we need companies, we need consulting companies who really know how to implement this kind of system. Okay, who have all the experience of doing this kind of implementation. So what we'll do is we'll go out there and, you know, uh, look for these kind of companies. So they go out there in the market and then they get a company called Infosys. Infosys is one of those big consulting, IT consulting firms here in the US, okay? So they reach out, they agree with Infosys that, you know, Infosys will implement the project for them for, let's say, for example, a million dollars, okay? So now what happens is now once Infosys gets on board to implement that project for Bank of America, Infosys may not have enough people, okay, to work for that project, okay? Most of the time, you know, because, you know, they, they usually have a lot of, you know, clients out there, you know, in the U.S. market. Okay. And sometimes they may not have all the resources to do all those kind of projects. So what they normally do is they go out there in the market and look for the right resources to come on board and help them implement those kind of projects. Okay, so in this case, they'll go to the market. In case they don't have the resources, they'll go to the market and look for people with the right skills. Okay, and now you, as, a, as someone who has the skill, then they reach out to you and then interview you and then you come on board and work for them. Okay, so that's one of the models. Okay, where the client, okay, decides they want to do an implementation, an IT implementation, and then they reach out to an implementing partner and then that company will agree with them on, you know, how much it's going to cost, you know, them to implement the project and then now they'll bring their own resources to come on board and implement the project on behalf of the client okay that's a very common uh it uh project implementation model here in the us okay now the other model is where the client decides they can do the implementation on their own okay their IT department is good enough they, maybe they've done this for many times Okay, then they decide, hey, you know what, we can do this, we have a very uh, good IT department within our own firm, and we can do this implementation on our own. Okay, so, but they may not have the resources, okay, because also, you know, implementing an IT project, it requires a lot of resources, okay. I'll be talking about the kind of resources that are needed to do an, impl an IT implementation, okay. I'll talk about that in my other episodes of Success with Bob Mwiti Show. Okay, so they may decide they want to do the implementation on their own. They don't really need an implementation, an, an implementation partner. Okay, so what they'll do is in case they don't have the resources, okay, to work on that project within the farm, what they'll do is they'll bring consultants on board to come and do that project for them. Okay, all right, so... What normally they do is, normally companies out there, they don't just, you know, go out there and start, you know, looking for these, for the consultants out there. No, what they normally do is they have companies that they work closely with, okay? And these are usually called preferred vendors, okay? Now, let's say, for example, I give you exact same example that I gave for the first model. And in this case, Bank of America. Bank of America, they have a project. They want to implement that IT project. But they are like, hey, you know what? I think we have a very good IT department and we can do this ourselves without a need to have an implementing partner. Okay? So, but they don't have the resources. Okay? So what they will do is they will reach out to their preferred vendors. And that, let's say, for example, in this case, Upstack America is a very good preferred vendor for Bank of America. 
okay meaning they mostly supply them with resources wherever they need them okay you know they have a relationship with them okay so bank of america will reach out to upstate america and tell upstate america hey you know what we have a project here we are implementing this kind of project and we need resources we don't have the you don't have enough resources so we need some resources and now what what upstate america will do is they'll bring the resources that they have okay to go and work for bank of america okay now most of the time also but upstate america may not have the resources okay to to, to send to uh bank of america but they can't tell bank of america hey you know what we don't have the resources so we can't really do anything you know about it okay you know that because you know in business you don't say that so what they will do is they'll go to the market and look for the right candidates okay so they'll go to the market look for the right candidate and then now give those candidates provide those candidates to uh bank of america okay so that they can be interviewed and then if they like them then they can take them on board in their project okay and that's how they get now to you as a consultant Okay, so Upstack America will reach out to you and then they'll talk to you. If you have the skills, then of course, they'll interview you a little bit, maybe, you know, one time or two times. And then again, they will now, um, they'll submit your profile, okay, your candidature to Bank of America. And then now Bank of America will also do the final interviews. Okay, okay. And then now if they like you, then they'll bring you on board. Okay, so really what happens is that in both models, you, when you are working now for Bank of America, you are not working for Bank of America as an employee of Bank of America. That's not usually the case. Okay, so you are working for Bank of America as a contractor. Okay, either through a preferred vendor or through the implementing partner. So the implementing partner will be your employer. Okay, or the preferred vendor will be your employer. Okay, so that's really how most of the IT projects are, are uh, done here in the US. Okay, but sometimes, you know, you know, that client might decide they want to just, you know, employ a full-time employee to go and help out in a project implementation. Okay, it's still very, very possible. Okay, where let's say, for example, in this case, Bank of America, they decide, hey, you know what, we need a full-time employee to come and work for our project. Okay, we have a project, maybe we'll have some other projects in the future, but we need someone to be here full time. In that case, they may reach out to you, okay, and then, you know, hire you as a full time employee and then go and work there. But most of the time, in this consulting world, it's usually where you go work for the end client, okay, through an implementing partner or through a preferred vendor, okay, as a consultant. Okay, and the end client will not be your employer. All right, I hope I'm clear. If you're out there and you want to get into the tech industry, those are the two most common models of working here in the US as an IT consultant. Okay, you're watching Success with Bob Witty Show presented to you by AppStack America. AppStack America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.appstechamerica.com. AppStack America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential within you. On to our question of the day. I had someone ask me, hey Bob, how long does an IT consulting project take? Now, this is, um, I can't really tell you, you know, that a project will take, uh, you know, a certain uh, amount of time. It really depends with the project. Okay, from project to project, from different clients, you know, there might be projects out there that are very complex, you know, long-term projects where you're going to be staying there for so many years, okay? And you might go to a project where you are just you are, you are required there for only you know for only six months. Okay, so 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 I can't really tell you like you know a project will be for this amount of time. No, okay, because it depends with whatever project that the client is implementing. Okay, now I can, from my own experiences I can tell you that a lot of project out there you go you're gonna stay there for a long long time. Okay, I've been to a project for one of uh, one of um financial uh, institutions here in Tampa, 
okay i've been in that project for five years before i left okay and that project was there before i even got there like five years before i got there that's when that project started and even after i left the project is still ongoing even until today okay so it happens okay where companies they have these you know huge huge projects you know you can when you're talking about multinational you know organizations that has businesses across the world those projects are usually big okay and they take years and years to implement okay so that's because you know you go to a project as a consultant it doesn't mean that you go there and work for just a few months no 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 even though you are not the full-time employee of that client okay so you go there and you may be working there for years so that's pretty much it and i will see you next time goodbye You've been watching Success with Bomweti Show brought to you by Upstake America. Come back next time to hear more steps and missteps that I took on the path to becoming a successful immigrant in USA. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.